Hey guys, McLovin here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my Sony Pulse Elite wireless headset for the Sony PlayStation 3. It also works with the PS Vita, PlayStation 4, and other electronics such as your phone or a computer. But anyway, let's get into it. So, uh, this is the box that comes in. It just tells you like what it has. It has 7.1 surround sound, insanely clear audio, which is bullshit. Feel the sound with bass impact. Let me see if you can see that. Uh, boom, boom. Sound, noise canceling, which is true. There's a little mute button on the uh, headset. On screen, headset updates. I haven't gotten those yet, but ho hopefully, I get them in the future. Modes optimized for gaming, genres, music, and more. And out of the box, uh, this is what comes in it. Comes with a USB dongle that has a 3.5 millimeter jack that you connect to. And I don't really know if that matters, but let me zoom in and try to focus that. Yeah, there we go. That's what it says on there. And so keep this because this is the most important part of the headset because if you don't have this if you buy this headset used or something or like a swap meet then uh just be happy if you get this because if you don't this headset is garbage because the uh, the bass impact feature and the 7.1 surround sound virtual and just everything is unusable so you get like some really 144p uh, crappy stereo headsets and uh, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable for plugging into the dongle and making your iPhone, iPod, whatever um, or phone wireless. It's kind of confusing. I haven't tried it myself because I'm not going to use a, a gaming headset with music on an on, on an unsupported phone if that makes sense but um make sure you have this and keep it too because this aux cord it's not it's not your average ordinary aux cord that you could buy from Newegg or Radio Shack or something for like 10 bucks 5 this is um used, I think it used to be mandatory in, in order to use the PS4 I think it still is but I'm not sure but just keep this or else you're gonna have some trouble and so that's pretty much all for the what's out of the box so let's go over the features and uh, as you can tell I got my headset on the uh, Netgear wireless wireless um net, just in some old Netgear router that was really good but I didn't take the advantage of it um, uh, here's some nice silver circles for a really slick, nice design. Uh, the ear cups themselves, they're uh, like some kind of synthetic leather, but they still feel alright. After long periods of time of wearing them on your head, it really, really, really does hurt. At least after 30 minutes to an hour. And uh, it's not like you'll get a headache. That's only if you'll wear them for like 3 or 4 hours straight. <laughs> but I had it only last like five minutes and uh, if your ears will hurt after like 30 minutes if you use this for consecutive 30 minutes and yeah just uh just move the headset around is why I always do or just reposition it that always that always seems to work and so um, I'm gonna handle this headset with really good care and I'm probably barely gonna touch it in this review because this headset is insanely fragile. If um, you look online, there's gonna be a lot of people with reviews that say that there's there's started the uh, cracks developing right there, like like yeah, like right here, and so this piece breaks off and they gotta return it to Sony and all that weird stuff, which I am very scared of. I've only had this headset for like a good two weeks. I could still return it, but I just plan on keeping it because it was a hundred dollars from Amazon. Thank God, it's a hundred dollars. You can't really go wrong with a with a Sony headset. So I'm probably just gonna keep it. If it ends up uh, 
breaking or something, then I could always uh, contact Sony since uh, this comes with a one year warranty from Amazon at least. I'm not really sure if it, you get one year warranty from other places, but that's how it is. And so let's go over it. Uh, it also has an adjustable headband that goes up to like here. Yeah, it should be up here on both sides. It's uh, I usually just keep it like that because my head's small, kind of. And a nice little Sony logo right there, which is nice. I'm saying, I'm saying. And let's go over the really nice feature of the headset. So, right here, this is your master volume switch. You go to the max to the minimum, pretty self explanatory. That's for your game volume and such. There's the. Let me go to some other place. There's the. Let me put this. I really don't want to like hurt this hurt this thing because apparently even one little like drop or something can fuck it up so I'm trying to be careful with that there's a mic mute button uh, to mute your mic all you do is just press it and you'll hear like a beep and it will give you an on screen notification that your mic is being muted and so uh, if you guys see if you guys are wondering that there's no mic then there actually is there's one built in uh, like over here I believe it's somewhere there but it it sounds okay for in-game audio but it'll sound like shit if you try to do commentaries with it so do not do that do not do that uh, to charge it uh, you gotta charge it with the mini USB cable Sadly, it doesn't come with a mini USB cable, but obviously if you own a PlayStation, then you're gonna Hopefully you got the USB charger for your PlayStation controller Because who doesn't? Or you, sh you, you should have like two of them lying around your house if you're like some tech guy or something There's the 3.5 millimeter jack that you put shit in uh, I have, haven't really experimented with it, but uh, you put it to your computer, to your headphones, to your iPod or whatever, to that, whatever. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to work on my computer, which I was really upset about because my computer is like the beast of the house, basically. And I just couldn't get it to work. I know how to work with computers. I know how to configure the audio drivers, all that, but it just didn't seem to work. I know how to uh, do the stereo to stereo 3.5 millimeter jack to other 3.5 millimeter jack on my computer, but uh, that worked, but it sounded completely horrible. Like this headset was like from 1982, worse than like a $2 headset you can buy from eBay. And uh, right there, you guys can't see it very well. Let me go like this. I'm gonna have to stand up, probably zoom in. Boom, boom. You can't. Let me. All right, there we go. So, there's the power on and off when you power it on. I don't know if you guys heard that, but let me go closer to the uh, headset. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's like a boop boop noise that I made. That means it's on. And uh, right, just right above it, there's the uh, the bass impact. I don't think you guys can see that. Oh, well, that's not the bass impact. My bad. That's the sound and voice. This works for anything like uh, the voice. Obviously, if you put it all the way down. You can only hear people's voices, like people with mics in game or locally or whatever. And you could also kind of adjust it so you can hear a tiny bit of the game volume and most of the voice. It's pretty cool. This is not a new feature with headsets. This is this has been like a long feature or a big feature for most of the headsets out there. Mix amps and all of that. And here obviously here's the game volume. You can max it out. Uh, it'll sound more louder even if you have the master volume all the way up over here is the virtual surround sound on and off button the you I'm, I'm sure you guys want to keep this on at all times because if you keep it off it's gonna sound like complete crap and it's just gonna sound like stereo headsets 
that you can get it off of eBay for cheap. So, unless you're watching, well, I don't know, it sounds different, but I kind of experimented with it a bit. And it only sounds better with some things, like certain things. And so, yeah. You hold it for like three seconds to turn it off, or you hold it for three seconds to put it on. It'll give you on it'll give you an on-screen notification with a halo. It's like a headphones with a halo around it. That means it's on. Uh, the headset just with no halo it means it's off. Uh, let's see what else. Here's the bass impact. You can max it out. I have it maxed out. Or you could just turn it off or lower it, whatever. I usually have it maxed out or in the middle. But sometimes when you max it out, it sounds horrible. It sounds literally like... If you're a car system guy or like a subwoofer guy, then uh, just leave it like this. Uh, you know, you're basic and all that. And your system will sound way better than this piece of shit. Because, obviously... You're probably gonna have a boss system that's like five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, depending on your amp and subs, and all that. But um, uh, it's gonna sound like you have your bass knob maxed up. Like just, it's just over your your music's overwhelmed with bass or um your whatever you're listening to. So that's kind of how it sounds when you max it out. But you you just kind of gotta play with the settings on the headset. I seen a lot of people on YouTube say that this is a very good gaming headset for bass heads and uh, personally I'm a bass head I know what real bass sounds like and this headset uh, it does not it doesn't have the bass that I'm looking for I want like boomy crispy bass but this just has like like it no matter what you do if you max out all the way it's just gonna have bass just every single millisecond no matter what you're doing even if you're on XMB on the PlayStation it's still gonna have like that annoying boom bass sound I, I can't I can't describe it but it just sounds horrible like if your bass knob is overwhelmed you bass heads will know exactly what I'm talking about so you just gotta play around with the settings I usually keep it uh, uh it depends it's different for everything you do, but if you max out your master volume or your game volume, then you're going to want to max out your bass or put it in the middle. If you barely have your volume up, then you're going to want to put the bass in the middle is what I recommend. Or just put it a little bit below the middle because it'll sound, I don't know, it just sounds different. But anyway, uh, there's the headset basically. So let's get to the PlayStation. So sorry if it looks bad, but I'm using a DSLR, and obviously DSLRs ain't made for TVs. But uh, if you're having trouble downloading the app for the PlayStation, then uh, go to the PlayStation Store and go under Apps, Game Apps, or something like that, or Apps, and then uh, I think you select Game, and you should find something that's called Headset Companion app. Sony does not tell you this for some reason in the manual. I don't know why, but uh, you get the headset companion app, and you just download it. And it'll give you. Uh, it'll turn into the Pulse Elite Manager PM or something like that. Uh, it'll give you the options to choose from only like some three crappy uh, equalizer settings that it optimizes for. Sorry about that, my camera or my battery died, so I had to kind of charge it for a little bit. But anyway, like I said, when you go to the Headset Companion app, also known as Post Elite Manager, it's going to give you only like three games, literally, uh, as of 2014, uh, January 23rd. It's going to give you Last of Us, GTA 5, Bioshock, and Watch Dogs. Four games, actually. My bad. Wow, that's a ton of games for a hundred dollar headset. Wow, that that's the that's this this is the best bang for your buck. But anyway, literally, uh, to change the selected modes, all you do is just go to whatever you want to go. By default, my thingy, my music thingy was on music, so I just changed it to hip hop because you know I'm a gangster. <laughs> Movie, uh, 
it depends but I just keep it on movie cuz I don't care um, I didn't change these well I think I did change there my racing was on there but that's a big must and shooter yeah blah blah blah, blah. anyway it's pretty much all preset on there I'm trying to make this video quick since my battery's dying again uh, so after you're done with all that you click upload and then it's going to tell you like are you sure you want to upload and let it finish because if you if your power goes out or your, you disconnect your headset or something then your headset is not going to work at all until you actually upload it when you upload it, that means it's like it's done updating or you're updating it so just make sure you finish the upload or update whatever since uh, I made that mistake and I was scared the first time I did that I uh, I think I turned the headset off or I unplugged it something like that and then I couldn't get it to work nothing was working and so well it worked and everything like you could power it on but uh, there wasn't like no um, second beep if you guys the, the owners of this headset know what I mean and so um, there's actually two different kinds of this head of this Sony Pulse Elite headset there's uh, the 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 nice one the bassy one well the one that at least has a bit bass and there's that uh, beats by Dr. Dre looking uh, fella that's apparently insanely comfortable but sounds really good but no bass at all so I do not recommend that one unless you do not care about bass at all so uh, let me show you one more thing real quick when you want to put the headset on your head or you want to just grab it then let me tell you this let me tell you something uh you're gonna want to hold it by these circles because if you if you hold it like just some normal headphones you just grab from here then apparently cracks start developing like somewhere right here and so if you hold it by the circles like literally just hold both sides by the circles then uh, there'll be no harm to it, but the there there probably will still be cracks in them if you don't take care of them. But that's what I do every single time if I want to take them off or just grab them. Uh, I always just hold them, hold them both sides by these circle things. It kind of does feel like I'm holding it the wrong way, which I basically am. But that's a way to prevent the cracks. But you never know, cracks and just start developing. Apparently some dude left his on the shelf and they just start developing cracks. I don't know how, but yeah, Sony does some really weird projects. So by default, when you um when you turn this headset on, it's automatically gonna like change the settings for you. There's no cable needed to plug in the back of your uh, your TV or anything like that. On like some turtle beaches and astros, you gotta connect like fifty thousand cables with this. It's no cables at all. All it is just a dongle that goes in there. And it's really simple. You don't have to change all your uh, PlayStation settings. It's as easy as just um, turning off and on your headset. But uh, sometimes when you turn off your headset, uh, sometimes the, the audio won't transmit to the TV. And so you got to go here to stereo headset, audio extension, and then just put that to off. And that will put it on, that will make sure it comes out of the TV. But if you put it on, on, then that means uh, it's going to come out of the uh, the headset. So just be aware of that. So anyway, that's my review. Here's also my PS3 gamer tag. Feel free to add me if you want. Tell me um, I like watching your vids, Deadly Snipers, whatever. And you might be in the video. I don't know. Depends. But yeah, add me if you want. Just make sure to message me that you're a subscriber watch my vids because I do not like getting random ad I mean I don't like getting random friend requests which yeah that sucks but anyway if I had to give this headset a rating I would give it uh, a 7 out of 10 maybe my hopes were just too up for how good the sound was supposed to sound <laughs> if that made sense but that's pretty much my review of the comfort it's all right it gets really bad after 30 minutes the the sound overall is I could expect more from a Sony headset you're better off buying um, a better headset 
from the um, Turtle Beach is a good headset, but you need like 50,000 cables to connect, and apparently they break easy too. So just try to try do some more research and find something that's way more reliable and that will last you forever because you know what they say uh by quality not quantity because if you notice a lot of people who buy expensive things tend to have that specific item or product for a longer period of time like let's yeah obviously if you buy like a 40 dollar turtle beach headset that's gonna break on you and you're gonna have to buy a few more i've had so many friends that told me about their horror stories of their turtle beaches breaking off the ear cups not working or the the yeah ear cups falling off all that weird stuff it's really weird but anyway i recommend if you just want to yolo it and just spend a hundred dollars if you got a hundred dollars to spare then go ahead and buy these they're they're pretty good i guess but they're not gonna be the best headsets you've ever heard with the virtual surround sound it doesn't sound the greatest but I well, hmm, I could expect more for a hundred dollars at least, but you know there's some Astros out there made for gaming with really good bass and really good comfort and durability, so you might as well just spend a few extra dollars going with those. So uh, that's pretty much the wrap up of my review. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy my review. I try to go over all the, the important details, but um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I got them. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, see you next time.